my god just listening to peggy speak guys listening to her listening to peggy speak listening to peggy speak this is the most emotional part of this whole marriage ceremony this is the aspect i love so much i don't know about you i'm just talking about myself what i what i enjoy in this whole in this whole marriage the aspect that makes that in fact that got my attention guys i am so happy for these two beautiful adorable couples and may your marriage shall be a blessing and your children will surround your table and you shall see your children children guys so i want you guys to listen to this just look at the words proceeding from peggy's mouth guys look at all the beautiful words proceeding for her mouth and how she endured to become the fine in fact to become the final wife of frederick leonard guys just watch you love is a beautiful thing don't get it twisted though love indeed is a beautiful thing when you have it with the right people you will enjoy what is called marriage so guys just stay to and watch to the end watch to the end and i was new i just sat in one corner and all the top actors were just oppressing me frederick walked past me and said are you okay and it was the first time somebody was asking me if i was okay so i was like yeah yeah, yeah i'm okay i'm fine so we passed and then another day i saw frederick i wanted to shoot a movie and you know the director agk are you here god bless you um and insisted that frederick could play the role so frederick came and frederick frederick just was there for me um as entertainers we all know that people always um, they're always selfish they think of just themselves but Frederick was just one person that just wanted everything to go right. Even though he didn't know me. So after that movie, I called him up and I said, can you tell me more about yourself? And then he told me and I was inspired. Babe, I don't want to go through everything. You, have, you and I have been through a lot. It's been a lot of struggles. It's been a lot of breakups as well. <laughs> um, you've gone, I've gone. I've come back, you've come back. You are like a father to me, but my father is here. And I love you, daddy. I love you, mommy. <laughs> but Frederick is, Frederick is my best friend. Even though... He can be very controlling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Frederick loves me. I've seen you fight so many people for me. I've seen you say, I've seen people say, why not an Igbo girl? And I've seen you say, it is big. And for that, my husband. I will learn to be a better woman. Babe, I will never be perfect. I will still fight you. <laughs> I will still protect you. I have protected, protected you from the first day we met. When I met Freddie, Frederick was not this female that everybody knew. But I see on the internet and everybody say, Peggy, you're lucky, Peggy, you're lucky. People don't know what I've been through. I have stood by this man. But most importantly, I have met a man who says, Peggy, I will take care of you. Be patient. He promised me that he's going to spoil me. And Frederick has been spoiling me, silly. And I just hope that this goes out to the internet. Every girl should be patient. I have been patient. I have always been a hardworking woman. All my friends know. You, you understand? Um, but when I met Frederick, I saw a man that was willing to, to make money. 
I saw a man that is not a wood miser. And most importantly, that is why I stayed for this long, babe. Please don't change. Frederick is one man I can beat my chest on, despite what everyone is saying, that he doesn't womanize. <laughs> Sometimes I get on his nerves and he thinks that I'm taking him for granted. Maybe I'm not. I'm just a woman. We can be silly sometimes. <laughs> but I will love you. I will respect you. You will always be the crown on my head. You will be the man I ask for decisions before I make it. To everybody that you have fought my case for, God will fight your case for you. Thank you for waking up in the morning and saying, babe, let's pray. Frederick, as much as you look good, you make me want to love God the more. Frederick doesn't stop praying. Sometimes I feel bad that I don't pray enough. <laughs> Frederick wakes up in the morning, he prays. He wakes up at night, he's praying. And I said, this is a good man. And when I met Frederick, small team, he had a girlfriend. <laughs> But then I looked at his future and I said, this guy is going to make it. Peggy, stay. Until tomorrow, Frederick asked me, how did you know that I will get here? So to everybody, every young lady out there, if you have a guy that you like, you love him, he doesn't have money, please stay. Listen to him, encourage him. That is all that I have done on his years. It got to it got to a point I thought that Frederick would not marry me. I'm like, Frederick, I'm a fine girl. You're wasting my time. <laughs> and he'll be like, Wait, 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 wait. I know there are rich guys chasing you. I will marry you. And babe, this has been a long journey. You will always be my best friend. If we don't fight, who will I fight with? <laughs> Frederick will be shooting. I will call him for minor things. He'll say, babe, I'm shooting. i say, hey, yeah, but what, what do you want me to tell? Thank you for being a brother to me. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for being my supporter. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for not seeing me as um, someone who is not from your tribe, but she's yet, babe. And remember when I met you, people like, "You want to marry that Adam Braga? You want to marry you?" Okay. 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 And babe, in front of the world and everyone that is witnessing today, I want to say that from the belly of my heart, from, from the deepest, deepest of her, babe, you know I'm not a long talker like you, but you know that I love you. Thank you for planning our finance. Thank you, thank you for making, uh, making sure that we grow together. Thank you for holding my hands and saying, babe, we are going to make a big mistake. Don't do this. I appreciate you. I'll always be a stubborn girl. You have to do with it for the rest of your life. You'll always be a stubborn man, and I will deal with it for the rest of life, my life. Thank you. But I will never cheat on you. I know that's your biggest fear. I want to say that God has blessed us. You and I know that God has blessed us. And we are grateful to God. He has blessed you. He has blessed me. And I want you to know that I love you. I will always love you. No matter what happens. Ours will be different. Amen. They say entertainers' marriage don't last. Yes. We will last. Yes.
who will be an inspiration to the younger ones. Amen. <laughs> we would love each other. We will show people how it is to love one another. We will have the number of kids we want. <laughs> and for everyone that is here to witness our love, thank you. It's been seven years. Seven years now. And Frederick Leonard, I am now your wife. Yeah. I love you and God bless you for Amen. me. Amen. Amen. Wow. That's not that. Are you ready to be the best? 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 Are you ready to be the best?